and served again in the Meghalaya Legislative Assembly. Today, he's the General Secretary of the main regional political party in his area. Helen comes to the United States from Michigan and was a graduate in English from Vassar College. Well, it's a great pleasure to welcome you both here. I remember as a schoolboy, I don't know if it's true of American schoolboys, uh, I remembered that uh, Cherrapunji, which was in your constituency as a member of parliament, was the place with the highest member rainfall the in the world. Member of the legislature, not parliament. <laughs> Legis <laughs> yes, I know. Yeah. Well, just uh, terms. Yeah. But uh, we don't know a great deal more about Northeast India, so perhaps you could start off by telling us a little bit about your part of the world. Yeah. Well, I come from one of the small states which was created in 1970 as an autonomous state and subsequently as a uh, completely separate state in 1972. But um, it is one of the areas known as the tribal areas of Northeast India. And we have Khasis who are one of the matrilineal tribes and Garos, matrilineal tribe. Perhaps of, you could explain what matrilineal means. Well, that's where the uh, line of descent comes from the mother's side instead of from the father's the, side. The, the ruler. If Ruler in no, not the ruler. No. Well, the, the men rule, but the women uh, control the property and the name. The name, the descent, comes through the mother's oh. side. And you're a Kasi. I'm a Kasi. Yes. And oh. my wife is wearing a Kasi uh, Jang Sem or a dress that uh, one wears on special occasions, sometimes at weddings, sometimes at uh, going to church or anything of that sort. But Meghalaya is a state which was created as a result of the struggle of the Northeast people, the hill people of Northeast India. And I was involved in that struggle because from 1960, I got involved in politics after my father died. He was a member of the cabinet of Assam and he had been one of those who helped to frame the constitution of India, but I was never... I never thought that I would get into politics, but after he died, some of my people came and asked me to represent them, and I got involved in politics and became the general secretary of the party, the regional party of that area, and we struggled for many years to separate ourselves from Assam because we are a different type of people. There are many hill tribes in that region, but uh, through this struggle for a separate state within the country, within India. I got involved with many experiences. I was actually a technocrat, was in business and in industry, and one of the places where I was trained was here in the United States as a student at the University of California. What, what field? Uh... Well, I was trained in food technology, actually, and then I studied for two years in engineering. And is that but, where you met Helen? Yes, I yes. met her at uh, the University of California at a football game, actually. Oh, well, what, what impression did Stanley make on you? <laughs> it must have been quite dramatic. Uh, it was, it was, and we were married in 49, left almost, well, within two months, we left for India on our real honeymoon. And I, had, I knew nothing of India. I had never been interested in India. And then suddenly here we were going, and he would not tell me anything about it, which I think was very wise, because then I had no preconceived notions when we arrived. We, are up, we live up in the hills, about 5,000 feet. It's, it's a little like Portland because we have pine trees and all the same flowers and that sort of thing. And a beautiful climate. We do have these heavy monsoon rains, but not as much as Cherrapunji. And uh, we've had four children since we lived there. They're all now in the United States. <laughs> but we feel that this is a wonderful thing because we're having the best of both cultures, you might say. Now, this American connection was not new because I believe your mother was American. Yes, right. she came from the state of Idaho, Moscow, Idaho. And she was um, given a call in 1904. She came across to India as a missionary. 